Okay guys, so this is going to be a feeding time and a tutorial on my two lizards. So here I got Cloyer, um, my regular blue belly lizard. And then here I have um, Gabby, my exotic blue belly lizard, or the Emerald Swift. Um, so yeah, we're going to be feeding... Um, well, let me feed... I'm going to feed some mealworms for Cloyer because he's not fast enough. Because he's already too tame, so he's really not that fast enough for the crickets. Um... Oh, well, what did I do with my mealworms? Okay, that's just lovely. I don't know what I did with my mealworms, and I really need those. Really, they're right in freaking front of me, and I can't even see them? Okay. Alright, um. Here, I'm gonna... Let me just get a big mealworm out for him. Okay, I think that guy's a little bit too big, so... Ah, shoot. Great. Lovely. Okay, so the mealworm just went under there. Here, move your butt over. Oh, no, he didn't. He's right there. Yeah, I don't really want the mealworms to move under there because the part that's bad is um, they can have um, babies or they could turn into beetles and... I'm not really... Oh, shoot, there's a cricket. Okay, I did not know that cricket was still in there. Alright, that mealworm's gone, so you know what. Whatever, but... Yeah, um, I guess I'll just talk about these things a little bit. So yeah, this one's a regular blue belly lizard. Here, I'll get him out for you. For you guys. Um, so yeah, he's a really uh, nice blue belly lizard. His name's Cloyer. Pretty sure I already said that. And then the bottom... Um, it's not really, is it's a very dull blue, I think he's about to start shedding skin soon, so it's a dull blue belly, but, yeah, um, and then the Emmy, Emerald Swift, so yeah, here, let me pick up Gabby, so here's she, um, the bottom, um, doesn't really has, have as much blue as the male Emerald Swift, so you can see it just has that little tiny bit of blue on the bottom, and right there. Um, doesn't really have as much blue. Um, these things are really underrated, which is really sad because they're, they're really great lizards. Um, I, 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 in my opinion, because they're not as, uh, delicate as all the other lizards in my opinion. Because I bought leopard geckos, um, and they, they died very quickly, which is, um, pretty annoying because, and I also felt bad. So I just quit buying leopard geckos. I don't know if it was me or if it was the gecko. Um, it was, it must have been something that I was doing because I've, I've been through at least two leopard geckos and both of them died. One of them actually wasn't my fault. It actually got a disease, the guy said. And then this one, um, the second one actually died for me. Um, but yeah, he, he's still in my heart. Anyways, so yeah, um, I'm, I'm just running a regular light bulb because I have another heat lamp that is actually pretty nifty looking. It, um, looks like that, and it has a, um, um, it, it, it I think it's about, uh, oh, shoot, how much, I, I forget how much, how many watts this is, but it gets pretty hot for the lizards, but the thing about this one is it is, um, it's very dark, so, here, I guess I'll show you guys what that looks like, so, Damn, that's really dark. Is that hot? Oh, that's a little bit hot. Oop. Okay, I do not want to break the... Oh yeah, it's hot. Okay, yeah, it's really, really, really hot. So I better not touch the metal or the actual bolt. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I, I just don't want to break the bulb. But that's the thing. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm stupid. I should be letting it cool down. But I'm a dumbass, so I can't even... Okay, I'm going to show you what this bulb does. It's it's pretty cool, actually. It's like a red-black light. If, but except that this doesn't shine off. 
Yeah, that's what it looks like. Looks like a, looks like you're, the lizards are in hell. But yeah, this light is actually a heating light. So here, I'm gonna turn it off so it doesn't get too hot because it's already, the thing's already hot. Um, but yeah, the light it's pretty cool. Um, oh, what the heck? Okay, hold on. Try to check something. Okay, yeah. So just let me just take that out. Yeah, see, these things already get really hot. It's already in there, but except this one is using nichrome wire, not gas, because the other bulb is, is actually a gas bulb. Okay. Yeah, this light's actually really bright. Um, what I do need to get is actually a timer for the lights. But I need two uh, uh, light bulbs, or two lights, or the adapter things so the light can fit in there. But, um, yeah, this thing's actually, this one becomes really handy. Um, just don't use it on a hot day because it is, um, it, it'll just toast your room. This light, totally recommend using a regular light because you can see the lizards easier. Um, I'm pretty sure you can buy, um bright lights that are heat lamps, but I'm not really sure yet. I haven't checked them out, because, uh, PetSmart, they've been giving me a hard time. They really have anything. Um, well, I mean, they, I, they, it is a great store, but, eh, I, I like going to the more expensive places, because they have good stuff. Um, yeah, but the thing is, um, these things, the Emerald Swift, like I said, it's just really sad that they're underrated, because, like, they're really good. Uh, lizards and they they're good so what you're gonna be feeding these things you're gonna want to be feeding these things um for instance this one it depends on how long you had your blue bellies um because they get really tame so they won't be able to eat crickets anymore because they'll get lazy um well I, I don't know if that's true because i don't really feed the crickets too much because their poops stink more when they eat the uh crickets i just feed them mealworms um so, yeah, the mealworms, well, at least keep the food mixed, because I always keep my foods mixed, but, yeah, um, the Emerald Swift, you're going to want to feed crickets, uh, like, big stuff, because, um, they, they're big, and these things, you're going to also want to have, like, the setup that I have right here, a lot of green and a lot of, um, tan bark, so they could bury themselves, and wood. Um, don't get them fake green stuff because, um, they, they, they won't be able to breathe. Um, I just freshly picked the, um, leaf coming out of that piece of wood and also the one right there that's behind the log so they could have oxygen. I also cut up some palm tree leaves in there so they could have oxygen. So, um, yeah, and then I, I recommend using this type of water style thing. There, hold on, there's a tan bark in there. Let me pull that out. Okay. Oh, that's trippy. But, um, yeah, guys, so I think that's pretty much all that covers. Um, so, yeah, I guess subscribe, um, like, and comment. Do whatever you want to do. Um, um, so, yeah, these things, just tell, just, if you guys have questions, feel free to ask. Um, I pretty much know a lot about lizards and other things, so just, if you guys have questions or suggestions of videos that I want to do, um, uh, please feel free to comment. Alright guys, subscribe. Peace out.